The night was bittersweet for the family of Jermaine West as they gathered to share memories of their loved one. He was shot and kidnapped more than a year ago. This week, the man accused of shooting West was found guilty of murder, but Jermaine's body was never recovered. 7 News reporter Katie Salt spent time with the family as they remembered Jermaine and as they continue their search for justice. He used to always tickle my sister and me. It's the little moments like this Jermaine West's children will never have again. We used to have a lot of fun. We used to go for walks, go and ride on our bikes and stuff. I love him and I miss him. What about you, sweetie? What would you say to your daddy if he was here? I miss him. Now, more than a year after Jermaine West was shot and kidnapped in broad daylight, his family and friends are finally getting a small form of closure. I don't want to hide anything from this family because they deserve closure. This entire issue, that's what I'm going to give them today. Marcus Todd, the man police say pulled the trigger, was found guilty of murder. Well, I already knew that, you know, God was going to take care of what needed to be taken care of. I already had that faith in that. The public now was safe. I, not just my family. I knew the public was safe because a guy like that out here on these streets, man, he did this in broad daylight in front of kids and babies. But still one question remains and haunts the entire family. Where is Jermaine? I know my baby was in that back seat saying, my mama going to find me. She going to she gonna find me because that's the type of mother I am, but it just kills me. I can't, I can't find her. For more than a year, the family has searched woods, swamps, anywhere they think Todd may have taken Jermaine. It's hard every time I smell something, every time I see something, buzzards, anything, you know, I just go running. And it's not, it's just not right. But tonight, as the family remembers the good memories of Jermaine, his mother says she will not stop searching until she brings her son home. I'm not going to stop, and I won't stop until I find my son. In Woodruff, Katie Solt, 7 News. Todd's attorney says that he plans to appeal his conviction. He was sentenced to life in prison.